think it has mopped in the kitchen. Maybe it hasn't mopped. But oops, that might have been done. But I'm waiting for him to do this area. Because <laughs> this really needs done. I don't think he did it last week. I mean, mopped a bit of it. Probably had mopped every day. But Kevin can help me set it up. You can set up to whatever you want. So I've had my shower and I decided I would um, pick up all the floor mats, mainly for the vacuum, and also maybe he'll vacuum them off in here for me. Let's hope. So I'll put the floor mats in to get washed. And I'm just putting my hair thing back. I don't know if I want to do it or not. We'll see. See how we go. Okay, I think it's time for breakfast. My little doggies are doing their hide and seek breakfast. Why I have my breakfast. <laughs> I love this. I love this game. <laughs> And I've opened up the curtains there. I've showered and dressed, got my shoe on. The, I don't know how with the vacuum. It didn't it went down there but it didn't do very much and then it stopped. I don't even think it went into the bedroom. It hasn't mopped and it hasn't done the kitchen, which it needs done. But I am I'm not gonna clean the kitchen today. I've got a bit of food prep to do. I've got stuff there ready. I'll see how I go, because I do have to pack for going away. So I'll just see how I get on today, I guess. And if I've got time, I can vacuum the time and or energy. <laughs> I can vacuum in the kitchen myself. And I even grab the mop and mop through as well. We'll see, see how we go. Uh, feeling fairly decent. A bit, I mean, I'm sore, fibro sore, but not too bad. Not too bad at all, really, considering. Okay, I've just hung out the what are they called? <laughs> Bath mats? It's actually really lovely outside today. It's supposed to get warm though, so I don't know. Might well take it as a nice breeze, as you can probably see. Hopefully, I might be able to see that later on, but I think it's going to get hot, so probably not. Anyway, I am in the kitchen now, get some things done. I decided I'm going to make pumpkin pasta bake. Uh, for dinners, I can freeze some as well, so that'll be some dinners to have. <laughs> Whatever. So that's what I started to do. I started to <laughs> fill up the pot and then I thought, oh, I better get those uh, bath mats hung out. And do that. I'm building those fancy pots. If anyone's got one, you'll have to let me know. I found that I had to fill up so much water when that was in there. Maybe it looks too big a pot. I don't know. Like, Probably just a lot of water anyway, but like I could do a pasta in that much water. But I found when I put that in, that's not enough water. So I took more water in and took forever. And then, yes, that was nice to have to drain the pasta. I don't understand. I don't really understand what the benefit is rather than just pour the pasta into a colander. So someone will have to tell me, if you know, what the benefit is. Because <laughs> I started to chip that out anyway. I'm just going to do that this time, I think. And we'll put that bit faster. I don't know. I'm sure I'm missing something because I know a lot of people have this kind of a setup. Anyways, nothing else. I can store the colander in the pot. And then I've got my little steamer basket too. I don't know if I can use that while I'm cooking the pasta. I don't know. I don't know. I need a bit of pot for making soups and stuff, which I haven't done yet, but I can do, I can do it in this pot when it gets to soup season.
not quite sure why I've got myself all sort of back on the couch because I'm going to have to get up in about five minutes anyway and drain the pasta. So the pumpkin's ready, dog food's still going. I've got my spinach cut up ready to add into the pumpkin pasta bake. I'm just trying to think. I think what I'm going to do is dish it up into small dishes and bake them in the actual dishes rather than use another pan. I don't even know the need to be baked. Because <laughs> I don't put lots of cheese on it, so there's probably not much point in even baking it actually. Maybe I won't worry. No, I don't know why. What's going to call it pumpkin pasta? <laughs> a pumpkin pasta casserole or something. I don't know. I'm not actually going to bake it, I don't think. Because I already heat it in the microwave anyway. So yeah, and then I can I'll probably do like one a couple more. I don't know how much I'm going to have. I didn't have as much pasta as what I thought. So I'm just going to have to see how much that makes. But I want to take, have at least one or two single portions and then may make up some double portions that Kevin and I can have. But it's a kind of meal that's really good to have as a standby if someone doesn't want to have dinner. So maybe I'll even do them all as singles. I don't know. The freezer is pretty empty at the moment. Oh, not empty. But there's space in the freezer, let's say, at the moment, which isn't often an occurrence. But I do want to get some more knocky at some stage. <laughs> So, and then we need more space for that. Oh, we need to put our travel freezer on, which we can do. It's upstairs, but we could even put the Noki in the freezer upstairs and put it on. So that's not a big deal. Maybe that's even what we'll do until we work out how to get this freezer quite to work for us, which will also change when we, when we eventually, after Christmas, let's say, next year, perhaps, when we, when we finally move down to Shell Cove and we can walk to the supermarket. So I'm pretty happy. I, it, Got everything done. I was thinking of making a cheese sauce, but I don't know what I need it for. What I do need to do is make menu plan, at least from when we were away. Check with Chrissy that she maybe she's got some ideas in her head. I don't know whether we're just gonna. I was thinking since she hasn't got a support worker, maybe I could help do her maybe the cauliflower soup that she likes. She can do the French toast. Maybe I could help. Maybe I could be a helper for once. I wouldn't normally do it, but maybe that can be my little gift to Chrissy while I'm down there help her with that and then we can have meals in I guess rather than out I want to check with Chrissy what she wants to do I'm hoping I can keep eating really well <clears throat> I'm in such a good mental um, state at the moment let's say as far as my food goes as you can tell from what I'm cooking I'm just doing super super healthy foods I have Alaska in it is as a goal <laughs> I don't care about the weight loss but I just want to feel the best I can feel when we get to Alaska and not, you know, not regret having wasted two months of potential weight loss time or feeling healthy time. Does that make, make sense? Like I haven't, like I'd like to do a couple more kilos. Ideally, I'd love to fit into my jeans and the alarm's just gone, so I'm going to get up. But I don't even know what I'm rambling on about. Anyway, let me go get this pasta. Come back and menu plan. We'll talk with Chrissy, menu plan, and then I can see what I need to, and then I can think about what I need to pack to go away. Trying to keep it as minimal and as simple as I possibly can, but also being prepared. <laughs>
Don't ask me where this morning has gone. I do not know. I seem to have gotten a little bit sidetracked on the laptop. I'm not feeling great, I guess, so that's probably why. But uh, <laughs> I have made the, yeah, so I made the pathway. So that's done and packed up. And I've just got the dog's dinner. I'm gonna go dish that up and I'm gonna go and maybe do half an hour of ironing. It's doing a little bit done. And then that's kind of, and then this afternoon I can just pack. I don't feel very organized. It's okay, I've, I've kind of done a little list, mainly for the dogs. The dog's list is complete, I believe. I don't need to take a lot for myself. All I've got is two outfits, pajamas, obviously underwear, I didn't write that down, but it goes without saying, toiletry bag, my tech bag, my laptop, and probably a bat. I don't think I'll be going out about too much, so I don't think I'm gonna need a normal bag. I'll just take the dog walking bag, I think. Because I'm not going to leave, like Christy said she wouldn't mind going to sit an exhibit at the National Museum, which I wouldn't mind either, but I don't want to leave the dogs by themselves. Not after the last time I did when they both held the house down almost. Uh, we need to work a bit more on that, I think, before I would leave them. Especially in an apartment complex, oh, it's a townhouse, so you're butting up against other places. So I don't want to do that. I don't think that's appropriate to do it there. Here's different. I know the neighbours are a long way away and they're inside, so they can't make um, too much noise. <laughs> well, they make more of some noise, but it's inside, and I don't think anyone outside, especially in their homes, would hear it. I did discover there's a dog park and like a, a lake area where they can swim and a, and a walk that you can take them on. It's probably only a five minute drive from where we're staying, so that would be good to do. Or maybe even both, maybe even Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll take them there. And Chris is gonna bring over some board games to play. It's just mainly for her to be with the dogs and hang out with me, I guess. So I have something to do with the doggies and then we can play some games together or whatever. Or I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I, we can take, we can go to the Arboretum, which I do love to go to. Um, I don't think Chrissy's ever been there. So we can take the dogs there and walk around. It's just a you know outdoor tree place. <laughs> uh, but I haven't been there for a few years. It's nice to go every couple of years and see how all the trees are growing. But we'll see, so it's only, we've only got one day there, so it'll probably just go by quickly like these days do. All right, I better get up and get to those things or it'll be lunchtime and they've gone. I've actually, because it's quite warm and I've got the air con and I've brought the ironing board through to here. So yeah, it's 29 degrees out there. So I'm going to do the ironing in here. I haven't got a lot. I'll try and get it all done. I'll just have lunch a little bit later. Yeah, we'll get that done and... Just because it's a bit of, it is a bit of a hassle to get, it's not that it's hard, but it's a, more of a hassle than in the old house where I just had to whip it out of the drawer. Here I've got to get the board out and set it up and it's not quite as efficient here or as, as um, appealing to do. <laughs> uh, anyway, get on with that. That has killed my back so that's all i'm doing of the ironing i've still got a bit to go actually but it's all killing stuff mostly i think a few of my t-shirts but i'm not walking for exercise so i don't really need them right now i think i'll leave the ironing board here and the clothes here and i'll try and get them done when i come back from canberra so thursday afternoon or on friday i thought i was picking up kevin on saturday morning well maybe not picking him up but i thought he was doing back saturday morning he's actually coming back friday morning thing is Trip has not gone to plan at all. Uh, spoke to him this morning, his evening. He's only got two more days left there and he's done one museum. And even that he was so disappointed it was a space museum, the Air and Space Museum, and he did so much of it was under like under renovation. So all the stuff you couldn't even see. 
and apparently his brother decided he wanted to do a road trip so he's taken off on a road trip so Kevin's now there by himself hmm very interesting so <laughs> he's not having the best trip and so everyone keeps asking him how his holidays going and it's not really going very well and apparently he hasn't vlogged at all so you're not going to get a vlog I don't think I think he's just been under a lot of stress and yeah I wish I could just like click my fingers and be over there with him but um, yeah, he's only got two more days left to go anyway and then I'll be on his way home well, I did venture upstairs to the hot room we'll call it because it's very warm up there <laughs> you can feel the heat as you go up the stairs <laughs> oh, they, they rock when they say heat rises so there is an air conditioning unit up in that room but obviously unless someone's sleeping up there or using the room we don't need to have it on uh, so I went up to get my suitcase that you can just see there. Um, I've got a bit of stuff stored. It's too hot outside. It's 30 degrees outside and that's too hot for me, particularly on the stairs. <laughs> I'm not fast. But I don't want to go and pack and load the car up right now. So I think I'm just, well, I'm just editing a video for you because I'm a bit behind again. I really should reply to comments, but I want to edit. Oh, it's hard to know what to do. Anyway, I'm editing now. I might try and do some comments later on. I just want to finish that puzzle because I'm nearly done. And I think I'm pretty right as far as food goes. Season to finish up. I don't want to take too long. So even if I get packed tonight and then do the car, I might, I'll try and maybe take some stuff up and put the fridge on up in the, in the van and then load the rest of the stuff up tomorrow. But probably what I do. Where is the ball ball? You're playing with Coda and then you stole the ball ball and took it over there to play with it by yourself. And Paul Coda had it first. Did he steal your bobo Coda? You look a bit tired and hot anyway, so maybe you're not too worried. I would, I'd like to go and do the water play with them, but I want to take their towels away and they won't dry in time. And without having a dry to throw them in. What good does that mean? Wet, I guess, but they can't be shaking the house and those the little um, towels that they wear are so good for that. I'll see. Maybe we'll go down and do some water play, but no, my back is so sore. The thought of bending over to, to dry them both is um, not very appealing. I'm going to have to get on to finding some exercises too, I think, when I come home. And I'm starting to think it might be the bed. <laughs> the bed's quite soft. And maybe just after a month, it's just my back's gone, oh, enough. Because we used to have a firm bed. Anyway, I'll work something out. Okay, I'm just editing a video and I just realized I've just got a lot of the same things that's in the very previous videos. Maybe two of the dogs, but I think a lot of stuff's quite repetitive, more repetitive here than what it used to be. Why? I do not know. I have gone into a better routine, I think, in the morning, so maybe that's why. But look, you just have to let me know whether you're happy just seeing the same things over and over again or whether you'd rather me post like I don't know less I was gonna say like do one or two days a week but I often don't film enough for one or two days a week but maybe I could film more on those days maybe I could pick two days like I used to do way back when and do more like film pretty much everything those days rather than trying to remember what I've already sort of shared recently and sharing different things did that make any sense at all what i just said i don't know let's hope you know what i'm trying to say anyway let me know your thoughts on that matter whether you'd rather me just continue as i am film and just be a bit repetitive or whether you think i should go to two days a week and um do more in-depth vlogging on those days i don't know I used to do it and we went this way so maybe this just works i don't know let me know if you if you have any thoughts on the matter let me know <laughs> so i can see it's only boring everyone to death uh <laughs> i guess you can choose to watch or you can just flick ahead if you go oh, no here's that again you can just flick through uh but anyway i said if you have any input let me know and then i can see if, how i can go about improving things <laughs> but i'm just finding as i'm getting better and feeling better and doing more my my routine is uh, i think i'm getting into quite a good little routine and i'm kind of just filming coming from me every day i kind of just film bits of most days
Uh, I don't know. I have no idea if it made any sense whatsoever. Just did a video with um, Kevin in it. The true camera on through, and I've well, got sidetracked now. But I realised you heard Kevin's voice and he came running on through. See if his daddy was here. Oh, apologise, I've got all the sun shadows from the curtains on the puzzle, but you can see I finished except for those two missing pieces. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming they came and they've fallen off and the dogs ate them, I don't know. Anyway, I did enjoy that puzzle, it's a different brand. I'm not all the puzzles, I would buy them again, it was um, fairly good quality. Uh, so I would, I just, it's a bit of a pain not having the right size. or not fitting on my normal puzzle board, but that was okay. I can do that occasionally. I've got a few vertical puzzles too to do, which is why I've held on to this board and a few or the strip ones I can do anyway, but I've got a, not many, but I've got a couple of vertical boards that I, of course I can't puzzle. Maybe I've already done them. I don't know. Anyway, another puzzle done. I did enjoy that and I would buy that brand again. Okay, what did I find? Oh, Josh, they'll be wanting their dinner soon. I want to take them down and do some fetch. I'll dish up their dinner because I haven't done that yet. The days has gone again. Okay. I do not know what happens to the days. They just go. I did try to steam some potatoes in this thing. It took forever. And yeah, they're not they're not done. I don't know. I don't know if something wrong with the steamer basket or I just didn't let it go long enough. But it was splashing water everywhere as well. So maybe it's better for not potatoes, but better for uh I thought I'd just leave them and I can just finish cooking them in the microwave. That's why I didn't bother worry about them. Maybe this is a better just for broccoli or something. I don't know. Because I can also see potatoes in the Instant Pot, which might result better results, maybe. I know people do that. Got stuff everywhere. What a mess. Oh, I've still got to do the tofu takeaway. All right, let's dish up their dinner. I made a couple of trips up to the <laughs> look at Chewy in his bed eating his treat. Eating his whimsy. Uh, I made a few trips up to the car. Went up once to put the take up some dog stuff and to put the fridges on and then I just went back up just then to put some stuff in the fridge. The little fridge is full because I use containers, forgetting that we're better off with stash of bags in there, but the other I could also use the back one as well, but I don't need to use that, I don't think. So anyway, I'm just now having my dinner, which was some rice from the other night, just heated up in the microwave. Vegetables and a bit of tofu, which I've cooked, and just a sprinkle of everything, but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna have that. Probably watch some YouTube, and then maybe edit another video or something. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the nice, um, this camera doesn't really pick it up. It's more pink looking, the sky out there tonight, but it's quite pretty. Yeah. 